Hello, everybody. Hope everybody is doing well. You were on the second of the guided notes that you will be taking with the reconstruction unit. Before we get started on your notes, though, I want you to think back to the other day. And we had you all sit down and think, if you were advising the president, what would you do? And the third question we asked you, we said, what would you advise? What should Lincoln do about the slaves? Well, what we're going to see here is what the Republican Congress at the time decided was necessary and needed to be done, other than just saying, hey, you're free, okay? Is, so let's take a look. Have your notes out in front of you. They should look like this. And we're going to look at constitutional amendments. Remember, please, people, the Constitution. That's the rule book for the country. That's where our rules are. Amendment. Those are changes in that rule book. So, the first one that we're going to be looking at is the 13th Amendment. Because we're going to be looking at the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th Amendment. You're going to need to know which amendment does what. The 13th. Freedom bans slavery in the U.S. and any of its territories. For, so for those of you who were thinking of saying free the former slaves and maybe re-enslave other people, <laughs> no, ban slavery. Slavery is outlawed. And also those states who had been in rebellion, they had to go ahead and agree to this before they could come back and be part of the Union. 13th Amendment bans slavery in the United States and any of its territories. 14th Amendment, look at the little baby with his flag, all American, right? The 14th Amendment grants citizenship to all persons born in the U.S. and guarantees them equal protection under the law. If you've been following the news, you'll notice that some people are still arguing about this one. Should it mean if you were just born in the United States that you become an American citizen? Some people are like, yes. Other people are like, ooh, I don't know about that one. What do you think? Anyway, the 14th Amendment, that's what it said. If you're born here, you're a citizen. They need to do that because that's how the slaves became citizens. They had been born here. Former slaves, now free. This is a huge one that's going to play out forever. Equal protection. Everybody. Equal protection under the law. Some of the questions is later on is going to be, what does that mean? But you need to remember, 14th Amendment, grant citizenship. 13th, ban slavery, freedom. 14th, grant citizenship and equal protection. What is the 15th going to bring us? It ensures all U.S. citizens the right to vote. Hopefully your parents are going to be voting on November 7th, regardless of race or color or previous condition of servitude. What does that mean? They're talking about whether you were a slave before or not. So all U.S. citizens, the right to vote regardless of race or color or previously being a slave. Okay, 13th. What does that mean? Try to remember. 13th, what was that? Freedom. 14th citizens, 15th vote. Free citizens vote. Say it with me. I know we're on the computer. Free citizens vote. In order. 13, 14, 15. Free citizens vote. Just remember it like that. Okay? That's what you are really going to need to know for the test. Free citizens vote. 13, 14, 15. That will right here. That is going to be the next video that you have but finish this one, answer all your questions.